Good evening sa lahat sa sa mga nanonood. Kung sino man naman nanonood sa inyo, shout out sa inyo and then syempre kasama natin ang ating uh, guest. It's an honor to be uh, with with Jess ng uh, Way ah, to Right? Ah, so, the, uh, the honor is mine, brother. Thank you so much for inviting <laughs> me. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and, good evening uh, to everybody in the EST area and uh, good morning you know, sa, sa Pilipinas. Yeah. Yung mga curious diyan sa taga sa sa atin. And uh, syempre, uh, mamimit nyo ngayon gabi. And dyan, umaga nyo, si Jesse ng uh, Waiting on Mercy. Which Hello. is, magpapakilala siya ngayon. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jess, magpakilala ka. Which is, uh, standard ko itong ginagawa sa lahat ng uh, pumapasok dito. Okay. Uh, well, my name is Jesse. Uh, last name is Crisini. Uh, I'm the lead vocalist of Waiting on Mercy. Uh. And next question is, uh, paano na buo yan? Oh, well, uh, let's just say it started the moment I got to Canada. Na parang sa akin lang, in my perspective, since I'm the one being asked today, uh, it was more like, I when I got here, I ko, there was no chance na I was going to be able to kind of fulfill or at least enjoy the passion that I love in writing songs and and singing and performing and all that stuff. Because, of course, when you go abroad, that's it. It's all work, sometimes mm-hmm. no play. So, But you get to meet people, and then, oh, wow. And I didn't really put it in perspective that Canada is, an, is a land of opportunity. Mm-hmm. Yes. So when I met the right people, then that's how it all started. It started in 2018 as, a mis- as, a, as an accident, to be honest. Oh, okay. So would you mind, like... Uh... When did you uh, came here to uh, Canada? Like, uh, when, uh, uh, taga saan ka sana, sa Pinas? Oh, I'm from uh, Naga City, Camarines Shore. Bicol. Oh, wow. Okay, Bicol. So, yeah. for sure, Bicolano. So, mailig ka oh, sa yeah, mga hang. Dude, man, ha- I'll show you my collection of hot sauce. Pero, <laughs> just, uh, hot sauce I can enjoy. Next I've had hot na... sauce here na parang hindi mo naman talaga may enjoy. Wala ka ng dila, eh. So, Oh, no, uh, I love uh, no, uh, yung mga maanghang na pagkain. So don't worry about <laughs> Ah, can, dude, anytime. Anytime you're in the, you in the area, we'll cook something. Can pour, the, uh, pour that uh, hot sauce. <laughs> Walang problema yan. <laughs> so, so yun. So from Bicol and then pumunta ka dito when? Like, uh, uh, we moved here 2012 uh, January. Okay. Like the whole Forgot family? Yeah, the whole family. My well, ex-wife now, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, my two kids. Okay, so at least, and then when you came here, then do you na isip na bumuo ng? Are you a band? Uh, do you have band in the Philippines before? Yeah, I uh, I had a band in the Philippines before, mm-hmm. uh, but I did kind of quit in a way because uh, more on getting busy with work. At that time, mm-hmm. I was working for a, for a, for a call center, so I didn't really have. Uh, a time frame kung pwede pa magbana. but with that band I, I loved writing songs kumbaga mm-hmm. I like original stuff mm-hmm. so but I said you know what When if we if I ever get a chance to go to Canada psycho, I don't know if it's ever gonna happen kasi you don't really know what you are uh, up to when you come here but uh, you don't know the whole thing that's gonna happen so yeah uh, banda sa Pilipinas just ko po High school, high school, college. Mm. Asawa tan may mga anak na. Well, isa pa lang pa lang ng oras na yun. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, band and whatnot. It's just to. It's like for me, it's therapy. It's just you go up on yeah. stage, you sing, and then you feel good for the next two days, and you want to do it again. Yeah, that's true. Parang outburst lang ng minsan dito sa Canada. Oh, yeah. Canada, it's like work, work, work. And then if you have that kind of at least sideline, tumugtog. You, 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 <laughs> right? need, you, need an, you need an outlet here, man. It's like so yeah. much. Sometimes it gets to you, so we need an outlet. Yeah, that's true. So, maswerte yung mga, mga may talent minsan dito sa Canada, at least after work. And they have this kind of... Uh, Uh, entertainment side kumbaga. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, so yun, Waiting on Mer- Mercy. Bakit uh, sino nakapili ng song na yun, Waiting on Mercy? Well, the name of the band uh, basically came from an idea that I shared with 
uh, one of the original members was Lou uh, de Guzman. So mm-hmm. we were the ones who discovered who who started waiting on Mercy. So waiting on Mercy is more like we've been waiting this long to just get an opportunity to be to do what we need to do. So mm-hmm. parang yung waiting on Mercy is a much more universal perspective of what we want to say that we can't say but have to say as a name. So waiting on something. It actually became a joke for the band. Oh, okay. So, practice na it's like, oh, see them late. Oh, waiting on Jesse, waiting on <laughs> Lou, waiting. <laughs> so, yun. Sabi ko mas maganda explanation yun compared to sa pinaka explanation ko na kwa talagang real name niya. Kasi, at least now it's comedy. So, yeah, yeah. So, at least it's a side joke. joke. Yeah. And then, biglang, mabuti wala yung member na Mercy ang pangalan niya. So, so far, wala pa si Resuerte pa naman. <laughs> <laughs> At least, right? And then he's, he, she's, of course, she's not like, uh, like going late <laughs> sa, sa practice. Let's just say na kung dumating man siya, kabaduyan man, I've been waiting for you. Why? Kasi mercy. Kabaduyan. <laughs> <laughs> 